So continuing here in trig and modeling equations 1.2. Let's take a look now at example 4. So these are the more challenging problems. Please do not get frustrated with these. These can take a little while to completely understand. So try to do as many of these examples. Try some odd problems in the book as well in order to truly catch on with these problems. But a chemist has 10 milliliters of solution that contains a 30% concentrate of acid. How many milliliters of pure acid must be added in order to increase the concentration to 50%? Okay, so we know we're dealing with acid. Okay, so I'm going to call that X. And what it's saying is 30% uh, of the concentrate is acid, right? The chemist says 10 milliliters of solution that contains 30% acid in it. So 30% is 0.3. So when we're doing this, 30% times the 10, right? Because 10 milliliters, right? 10, 10 milliliters. So 30% of it times 10, it must be added to it. So 30% times 10 is 3. So 3 of the 10 milliliters is acid. That's what we're trying to figure out here. So 3 plus some amount of acid that I don't know, all right, equals, remember that's the pure acid, right? 3 is the concentrate, okay, that's what we're figuring out, equals 50%, right? That's where I'm getting this 0.5 of the 10 milliliters and it's increased by that same amount. So keep in mind, the original is this, and we're increasing it 50% by however much that pure acid is. That's why we're getting the problem set up like this. If you keep this model in mind of how you set this problem up, almost every single problem is identical to this. Just it literally, the numbers are changed. Instead of 10, it might be 15 milliliters of solution at 45% that increase to 60%. Remember how the order is being plugged into this problem and you should be fine. Okay, so um, when we're doing this, that's the original amount. Okay, so the original is 10 plus however much the original amount is. So when we FOIL this, I end up with 0.5 times 10 is 5. 0.5 times x is 0.5x. So when I'm doing this, I combine my like terms. I like I said I like to have positive x's, so negative 0.5x to both sides. Um, they cross out, so I have three plus 0.5x because one whole minus a half is a half equals five. The uh, minus three on both sides, so I get 0.5x equals two. Divide by 0.5, and I find out that x equals four as my answer. No, you got the wrong number. All right, so a radiator contain, contains eight quarts of a mixture of water and antifreeze. If 40% of the mixture is antifreeze, how much of the mixture should be drained and replaced by pure antifreeze so that the resulting mixture will contain 60% antifreeze? Just like the last problem, okay, except we're talking about something else, right? So 60%, right, is 0.6. Looking for the resolved mixture to contain 60% antifreeze. There's 8 quarts. So 0.6 times 8 is 4.8, right? So 4.8 of 8 quarts of the mixture is antifreeze at the end. That's what we know. So what we have is 4.8, which is what you want, equals... 8 quarts minus, all right, because remember we're talking about being drained and replaced. So if it's drained, that's why it's subtraction. So that's why I know that this is 8 of it minus what we're taking out. And that's the total after what you're taking out. And that 40% of the mixture is antifreeze. So same setup as the last problem. So plus the X, though. And that's what was drained, and it needs to be put back in, because keep in mind, this is all saying what we're taking out. We need to put 
something back in and we're putting back in um, that x so 8 times 0.4 is 3.2 um, negative 1 x times 0.4 is negative 0.4 x with the positive x there combine my like terms on this side negative 0.4 plus 1 is positive 0.6 I minus a 3.2 on both sides to give me a 1.6 equals 0.6x. So I divide by 0.6 on both sides and I end up with 2.6666 or 2 and 2 thirds um, as my answer for.